In this video, we will talk about the change of base formula. This is log base b of x equals log base a of x over log base a of b. So, in this formula, the base of the original logarithm is b. Then, we can rewrite this logarithm as a quotient of two logarithms where the new base is a number a. The base a can be any number we need as long as it is positive and not equal to 1. So again, in this fraction, each logarithm has a new base a, and the logarithm in the numerator takes x, and the logarithm in the denominator takes b. Now, let's say we need to evaluate a logarithm log base 3 of 9. In this logarithm, 3 is the base, and 9 is the result. To evaluate this logarithm, we need to ask 3 to what power equals 9? That would be 2. So, we can evaluate this logarithm without any use of a calculator. But now, what if we need to evaluate log base 3 of 5? The question is 3 to what power equals 5? This is not a whole number, so to find the approximate value, we will need to use a calculator. Many calculators know how to evaluate logarithms of any base, but let's say that you have a calculator that can evaluate only common logarithms or natural logarithms. This means that your calculator has one button for common logarithm, which is a logarithm that uses base 10, and another button for natural logarithm, which uses base e that is approximately 2.718. Now, to evaluate this logarithm, we will use the change of base formula and either one of these two logarithms. For example, if we want to use the common logarithm, then we will rewrite log base 3 of 5 as log of 5 over log of 3. So, each of these logarithms has base 10, and we write this 5 in the numerator and this 3 in the denominator. Then we use the calculator and we get the approximate value of 1.46. Now, if instead of the common logarithm we want to use the natural logarithm, then we will have the following. Log base 3 of 5 equals ln 5 over ln 3. In this case, both logarithms have base e, and we write this 5 in the numerator and this 3 in the denominator. And now, if we use the calculator, again we will get the approximate value of 1.46. So, to evaluate this logarithm, we used logarithms with base 10 and base e, but whenever needed, we can use any other base as long as this base is positive and not equal to 1. And we can also use the change of base formula on any other logarithm, including this one. Now, let's see a proof that will show that this side of the formula is equal to this side. So, let the left side of this formula be equal to y. So, we will write y equals log base b of x. In this equation, b is the base, y is the exponent, and x is the result. Then we can rewrite this equation in exponential form, and that will be the base b raised to exponent y equals the result x. Now, recall that in an equation, if we perform an operation on one side, we have to perform the same operation on the other side. Then, what we will do with this equation, we will take a logarithm with a new base a of both sides. So, on the left side, we will have log base a of b to the power of y, and on the right side, we will have log base a of x. And now, on the left side, we will use the power rule, and we will move the exponent y in front of the logarithm. Then we will have y times log base a of b equals log 
base a of x. Then we will solve for y by dividing the left side by log base a of b and the right side by log base a of b. Then on the left side, log base a of b will cancel. Then y equals log base a of x over log base a of b. So in the beginning, we had y equals log base b of x. But now we have y equals log base a of x over log base a of b. Then we can say that log base b of x equals log base a of x over log base a of b. And this is the change of base formula. Thank you for watching and please come back for more videos.